Hi everyone, welcome to my Facebook Live this week. My name's Mandy Witherby and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Today is Monday the 24th of August already. Oh my goodness, it's nearly September. Can you believe that? This year is just flying by. Thank goodness, because it hasn't been the best of years for a lot of us, has it? Especially with all of these virus things going around. So as you're jumping on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. You might be watching live on Facebook today or you might be watching the replay on Facebook or perhaps you might be watching on my YouTube channel, watching the replay over there. So wherever you're watching from, please, um, if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, um, give me some love and that would be awesome. I would so appreciate it. And if you are watching on my YouTube channel, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then if you click on the little bell icon over on the um, left hand side, it'll be down below the video. Um, sorry, right hand side, right hand side. Um, then that way you will get notified of all the videos when I post them. Hi, Tina. How are you? Great to see you today. Hi Athena, great to see you here today too. So as you're jumping on, say hi. Still working but listening, awesome Athena, thank you. So yeah, jump on, uh, sorry, as you're jumping on, say hi. Um, if it's your first time watching today, let me know where you're watching from and welcome. And I have got some um, lovely things to show you today and some news as well which is exciting. News is always exciting. <laughs> all right, while I'm waiting for everyone to jump on, let me just call this up on my iPad so I can see all of your comments. Okay, let me just see where we are at. So it is a beautiful day here in Sydney today. Hi, Amanda, great to have you here this afternoon. Yes, it's been a beautiful, beautiful day here today in Sydney or the western suburbs of Sydney anyway. I'm not sure about the other parts of Sydney <laughs> But out here in the west, it's lovely today a little bit chilly, but it's um Sunny, so that's all good. Oh Hi Lucia. Great to see you Thank you for joining me Okay, so everyone tell me how your weekend was what did you all get up to? I'd love to hear about your weekend. I always like to hear what other people have been doing. So let me know. I'm waiting for those comments to come up. And um, while I'm waiting for that, I'll let you know um, a couple of things about my weekend. So pretty busy weekend as usual, but uh, mostly at home. Well, actually all at home. I don't think I went out at all. Um, oh, hi, Sue. Great to see you. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, Amanda went to the snow. Awesome. Which did you go up to the mountains or did you go down south to the ski fields? Hey, Robin. Great to see you. Athena was watching movies at home and played with watercolor paint. Oh, those two things sound awesome. <laughs> what sort of movies were you watching, Athena? I haven't watched a movie in ages. <laughs> oh, you went to the Blue Mountains to see the snow up there. Awesome, Amanda. I think a lot of people actually went up there. Um, I Now I think you're about my third or fourth friend group of friends who have said they went up there on the weekend to see the snow. Apparently it was bucketing down up there. So that was pretty awesome. Um, hopefully everyone kept safe on the roads because, you know, it gets a bit slippery on the roads when there's snow. So yeah, that was pretty um, exciting that the snow was that close, but it was absolutely freezing and so, so windy. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. So anyway, um, oh, really old ones, Athena, just for something different. Awesome, I love old movies. I grew up watching old movies with my mum and my sisters. Um, our brothers were always off doing something else because they were quite a bit older than us. But um, us girls used to always love to watch old movies. It was a Sunday afternoon thing. We'd come home from church and we'd sit down and watch old movies all afternoon. Watched a lot of um, 
Elvis and Shirley Temple movies and all of that sort of thing. Um, Three Stooges, all of those. Oh, and musicals. My mum loved musicals. So we watched lots and lots of old musicals, The King and I and you name it. I've probably seen it <laughs> probably many times over. <laughs> uh, and Robin had her daughter over helping her organise I'll get organized, yeah. Oh yes, definitely no climbing up ladders, Robin. I'm glad you had your daughter there to help you with that. <laughs> oh, hey Tracy, great to see you. We're just talking about our weekend, Tracy, and what we got up to. Did you do anything interesting on the weekend? Yes, Roger and Hammerstein, yes. Watched all of, I think all or many of those. They were one of my mum's favorites. And, um, was it Fred and Ginger that used to do the tap dancing? Like all of those dancing movies. I guess they were musicals too. Um, yeah, so all those old movies. So many. So, so many. It's great to watch the old movies. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, I had a, had a busy weekend. Lots of things. Lots of, um, lots of up and down emotions actually <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> So our little our little doggy Molly, um, she actually had a seizure on Saturday night. So that was a bit scary. Um, she's had a few, and um, the last one was four weeks ago. The ones before that were back in January. So it had been six. What's well, that? About six months or so. Um, prior to that, yeah, six months prior to that, and she had a cluster of them back then. They tried her on medication. It didn't go well, um, and she was just like a drunk little zombie and couldn't function and couldn't walk or anything so they took her off the medication she didn't have any more until a month ago and then she just had the one and she had another one again on Sunday uh, Saturday night so it was a bit scary so we're not really sure what's going on so we've got to keep an eye on her and if she has any more we'll probably have to take her back to the vet and um, perhaps they need to do a scan or something to check what's going on with her so yes so that wasn't very nice but yesterday I did um, I just sort out some of my mum's things so that was a bit difficult but anyway I won't go there because we want to keep today happy but um, I also last night or early hours of this morning actually put together some of my paper pumpkin sun box of sunshine cards so I um, I bought a whole stack of these. This is a brand new one that I haven't opened yet. I've got a few more still here in the box. And um, so I made up a whole box of them and I sent them out with the actual box. I sent a card with the actual boxes um, out to my aunties who won't see this on Facebook. So it's all good. I can say that here. <laughs> and a couple of my cousins as well that they can share with their kids. Um, so yeah, so I've got a few more to do. Now the ones I've got left, I'm actually going to open and make up the cards and make them into card packs and then decorate up the boxes that I'm going to put them into and then send them down to, oh, I'm getting croaky, <clears throat> excuse me, and then send them down to a couple of my other aunties that aren't crafty. Well, I don't think they're crafty. Not in that way anyway, not in paper craft. So I'm going to send them those um, ready-made cards that they can then send out and um, share sunshine to other people. So I'll be doing that over the next couple of weeks. But yes, had to go to the post office this morning and post off all my big parcels. It's really exciting going to the post office with all these bags of big parcels. It was really cool. Um, and my paper shares as well. My paper shares went out today in the post as well. So that was the other thing I had to post out today. So yeah, but it was beautiful outside. Actually, I, when I got to the post office, there were so many cars. I thought, oh no, there's gonna be so many people here. So I put my mask on. I have beautiful masks now because I have a friend who um, made them for me and um, she sells them. So if anyone needs to know someone who makes and sells masks, let me know and I can give you her details. And um, yeah, so I wore one of my nice masks which matched my top. And um, thankfully, when I got into the post office, there was only a couple of, well, actually, there wasn't anyone waiting. I walked straight up to the counter. So that was awesome. So no idea where all those people were that had all those cars because they weren't in the post office. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, 
Yeah, so getting back to movies, yes, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, yes, definitely, that's right. Um, and Tracy did some crafting Sunday afternoon, lovely, making some gift bags for speaker breakfast. Oh, awesome, it's that time of year again, Tracy. Oh my goodness. Wow, oh, I look forward to seeing them. That sounds awesome. And Tina says she loves Fred Astaire. Yeah, he's an old classic, hey? Was, I guess he's gone now. I would imagine, because that would he would have been very, very old. And Lucia's been making little felt hearts to hang around. Oh, that sounds awesome. Lucia, is that using the new Stampin' Up! felt pack that we have? I haven't actually purchased any yet. Um, and I was wondering what it's like to work with. Actually, you just gave me some ideas then too. Do you remember in the last, um, yes, it was the last annual catalogue, we had the um, felt embellishments. We could make our own now with our dies. Yeah. Oh, yes, he has gone, Fred Astaire. Yeah. I thought he would have, Tina Marie, because he would be very aged by now otherwise. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, I think I'll have to get some of that felt, Lucia. That sounds awesome. Actually, yeah, that takes me back to, I'm just thinking about some of the old projects I used to do years and years ago using felt. Ah, you've just put some ideas into my mind. Thank you, Lucia. I think I'll have to get some. I'll put that in. I just put an order in on the weekend too, which is exciting. But um, so I've got more new goodies coming. But yeah, I'll have to put that in my next order. I'm going to write it down right now. Order felt. <laughs> order felt. And there was something else I had to order I thought of this morning too. Oh, you're using wool felt and stuffing them. But I didn't think of our papers. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Oh, it sounds cool. Oh, I know the sort of little hearts. And did you blanket stitch them or um, running stitch them or something together to make the little um, pockets to stuff? How did you do it, Lucia? They're so cute. I've seen them before. They're adorable. So there was something else I had to order too. I'll remember it and I'll write it down on my little notepad. I've always got lists of things. Always need more things. <laughs> All right. So, oh, blanket stitch, awesome. Lovely. Ah, oh, that'll be beautiful. You're so clever. All of the special things that you make. I remember the brooch I got from you from on stage. Was it last year? Was it last year you made those beautiful brooches? I still have it. And um, I was so um, proud to show that to everybody when I came back that year from um, on stage. I think it was last year. Oh, yes. Must have been November last year, I think. Yeah. Anyway, time flies. We're nearly ready for the next one. <laughs> Only this one's going to be online, so that's going to be different, but it'll be great. Yeah, it was. Yep, November. Awesome. Cool. All right. So let me remind you of a few things. So getting back to the box of sunshine. <laughs> so if you missed my live last week, I made a couple of the cards from the box of sunshine. They're super easy and quick to put together and they're beautiful and so bright and fun. So in this kit, you get the stamp set, which is actually still on my desk. I haven't put it away yet. <laughs> I had it drying overnight because I'd given it a good clean and everything. So I've got to put that away still. You get the stamp kit, you get products to make eight cards, you get all the embellishments, you get the bling, you even get little glue dots, you get dimensionals, mini dimensionals. Um, then you get additional products as well or additional elements as well in there that you can then make your own cards. So I've got a whole heap left over from my first kit that I opened. So I'm planning to make a whole heap of more kits plus decorate those um, additional boxes and I was talking to um, one of my team members yesterday, yesterday, day before, um, and she was uh, talking to me about sending out some card kits. And I said to her, did you know that we have the acetate card boxes and that fits five cards and envelopes in there? And she said, oh, that'll be perfect. I'll get some of those. So I've got some of those. And now that I've been thinking about what to do for my aunties, I'm going to use that idea as well and um, decorate those uh, acetate card boxes up. You can find them in the annual catalogue, actually, in the packaging section towards the back. 
um, let me just find them and I'll tell you where you can find them. But also too, we have the mini paper pumpkin boxes that you can purchase. So the paper pumpkin I showed last week, the box of sunshine, and I also highlighted the mini um, paper pumpkin boxes too. So you can use either or. I think with the paper pumpkin boxes, they're a little bit narrow to fit a standard size card in or the cards from this kit. Um, however, they do fit note cards in because we made one up for John's mum and John's dad and sent it to them over the um, the weekend. And we I made up a separate little card and I made it on a note card so it would fit in the box with their little goodies. So it depends on which way you want to go. There's lots and lots of ideas. So let me find these for you. It's under packaging. Do, 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 do. Page 152 of your annual catalogue. And they're acetate card boxes. The code is 145486. And it's $12.25 for five boxes. They come flat packed and they're all scored and everything. You just pop them up and then you can do them up. And I'll see if I can show it to you. But yeah, you get um, holds up to five boxes. How many do we get in the... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Clear acetate boxes neatly and safely. Store your finished cards. Each box holds five, four and, a, and an eighth by... Oh, wait, let's do it in centimetres. 10.5 by 14.8 centimetre cards plus the envelopes. And there's 10 boxes in the pack. There you go. So they don't cost very much. And here they are here. So these ones here. You, you can see them there so that's them there so you can decorate up those little acetate boxes and so you can use some of your leftovers from your um, box of sunshine kit paper pumpkin kit and decorate them up and put the cards ready made in there that's what I'm planning to do and then um, send them off and spread sunshine and then that also allows those people to spread more sunshine further because then they can send those cards out to other people as well so there's some ideas for you okay uh, hey Julie great to see you thanks for jumping on all right now let me remind you about bonus days so if you earned bonus days coupons last month um, you need to make sure you redeem them before the end of August. Don't let them run out because you don't want to miss out on those freebies. So if you have your bonus day coupons, um, be sure to look up your email that had your bonus day coupons if you didn't print it out. I always pr print mine out and put them in a special safe place where I won't lose them because I worry I'm going to lose them in amongst all my emails. Um, so make sure you redeem your bonus days. You've only got one week, one week from today. So get those freebies. I used all of mine already. Actually, you know what? I used a lot of mine to get a whole heap of paper pumpkin. And then I went and ordered extras after that. <laughs> but yeah, um, really great to get those freebies. Hi, Chitska. Great to see you. Thank you for joining me today. All right. So that's a bit about the paper pumpkin and the bonus days. Now... Remember, I was talking and uh, talking about, but I didn't use it last week, the brand new stamp and cut and emboss machine. So the large machine is available now to demonstrators. It'll be available to customers from the 1st of September. So it's just over a week away. And um, the mini is going to be available a little bit later. So it's still coming. We haven't got a release date for the mini yet, but the big machine is available and we're going to be using it today. Um, I did do a demonstration video on it a couple of weeks ago. So if you missed that, have a look um, back in my videos on my Facebook page, or you can go to my YouTube channel and you'll find it there as well. Um, that's if you're already not viewing this on the YouTube channel, because if you are vi viewing this later on, the YouTube, on my YouTube channel, then you'll find it in my other videos there. Um, so yeah, so that's very exciting. Now I did let everybody know last week that you can actually So this machine if okay, so let me let me backtrack if you're not already a demonstrator This machine is going to cost you two hundred and nine dollars Okay to purchase outright and then you've got shipping on top of that too And I think I calculated the shipping was going to be ten dollars seventy five if I remember correctly ten dollars something I think it was ten dollars seventy five for shipping Okay, so add that on to your machine. Um, now, you can actually get this machine for $169 
plus get free shipping, pay no shipping, plus you'll have an additional $26 to spend. And do you know how you can get that? You can join my team. So if you would like to get this at a bargain for $169, then talk to me about joining my team and I would love to have a chat with you about that. Now, in saying that about joining my team, from the 1st of September, I'm giving you lots and lots of information now. From the 1st of September, we have a very special um, joining offer available. Now, it's called Get and Go. I saw the information about this and I saw a video about it. I haven't gone through and read it, but I've got the information right in front of me. So if I keep looking down, that's because I'm checking. I want to give you the right information. So between the 1st and the 30th of September, there is a special joining um, offer. So you can still purchase the starter kit for $169 and put anything you want in that starter kit. So you can put your die cutting machine in there if you want to, plus some additional items, maybe some bling or maybe some ribbon or... Um, you know, you've got that $26 to spend, you get free shipping. Now on top of that, you're also going to get two free stamp sets, free, okay, two free stamp sets. It's the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, which is this one here. You Can you see that there? And you're also going to get the um, So Much Love stamp set as well. You're going to get some bling, so you're going to get a pack of basic um, rhinestone, sorry, rhinestone basic jewels, and then you're going to get eight card packs. So you're going to get four of this one and four of this one, and everything is already prepped and cut, and it's shrink wrapped. Each one of these is individually shrink wrapped for you, so you have eight card kits there. Now, the idea behind that is to help out new demonstrators that might like to start holding classes. You've got everything you need there um, to go ahead and start um, holding classes. The only other thing you would need is some ink and, of course, some blocks to put your stamps on and um, some adhesive. And most of us card makers already have that anyway. So you have everything there ready to go to start running classes. And there's eight kits there. So you can have eight people, you might have four people and do two, um, they can do two cards each or you might do four, two events and they can do, you know, you can choose which card they do for which event. Now, if you didn't want to hold classes, you might like to use these as a purchasing incentive or an ordering incentive with your customers. So if you have customers or you might even have friends or family um, that might like to order through you, you can use these as ordering incentives so that when they make a purchase with you, you can give them a kit as a thank you gift. Now, the other thing you could do too is if you don't want to do any of that, then you might like to just share these with your friends and families and get them interested in um, making cards as well. You can use them as a gift. Okay, but you still get those two free stamp sets and the bling, and then you've got your $169 that you pay for your kit, but you choose up to $235 in that starter kit, but still only pay $169, and then get all those extra goodies as well. So if you would like more information about that, um, I would love to have you join my team. Um, as I always say, my team is filled with such beautiful people. We have a lovely, lovely community. We have a great time together. We share our projects with each other, which is awesome. We all get inspiration from each other and pick up on different tips and techniques and ideas. It's a lot of fun. Um, you also have early access to brand new products from Stampin' Up. You have access to the Demonstrator website, Demonstrator Facebook pages. Now, if you're not on Facebook, that's not a problem too because I do send out team emails now as well. So you'll always be updated with um, what's going on. So it's not a problem. So if that sounds exciting to you, and I'm really excited about this, I, um, this promotion, I think it's awesome. It's called the Get and Go Starter Promotion. Okay, so I would love to help you with that. Now, um, if you join my team, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to sell to people or anything like that, that is perfectly fine. No problems. You can keep those products for yourself. And as I said, you can use these perhaps as gifts for people. 
So if you don't want to sell, that is totally fine. I'm happy with that. A lot of my um, a lot of my team members have just joined for the discount, which is awesome. I'm so happy that um, I can actually share that opportunity with people to get that awesome discount on all their crafting supplies. So you'll get when you become a demonstrator, you get 20% discount on all of your purchases, and you can build that up to 25% over time as well. And um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Now I went blank. <laughs> I was on a roll and then something popped into my head and it threw me off. I've gone blank. But yes, if you don't want to sell, that is fine. But there is that business opportunity there too. If you would like to um, take that up, then I'm certainly happy to support you in that as well. But either way, I would love to have you on my team. Oh, and there's no lock-in contract at all. So if you give it a go for a couple of months and then you decide, no, it's not really for me. I don't, you know, I'm not enjoying it or whatever. No problem. I won't be offended. You can just go back to being a customer. It's that easy. There's no lock-in contract. You don't need to um, officially resign or anything like that. You just stop ordering as a demonstrator. So it's super easy. So let me know if you have any questions about that. Okay, I would love to help you. Um, yeah, yes, definitely. So many freebies, Tina Marie. I know, it's awesome. So if I wasn't already a demonstrator, I think I'd be joining during that too. <laughs> Getting all those extra freebies. So it's really cool. Oh, hi, Jenny. Oh, you received your things. Great. That's fantastic. Always exciting to receive new things, new products. So that's great. Thanks for letting me know, Jenny. Okay. All right. So I have told you all of my news and I'm just checking on my notes here to make sure I haven't missed anything. I think that's it. If you think of anything that I have missed that anybody knows about, let me know. Oh, catalogs. That's what I didn't tell you about. So you, you saw me um, hold up a page of the... Um, annual catalog so this is my copy and this is my working copy so I've got tabs everywhere but of course it doesn't come with those be nice if it did then we wouldn't have to do it <laughs> and um, I go and get mine spiral bound from our local um, stationers um, but of course it doesn't come with spiral binding either but I'm using mine every day so I'm constantly opening and closing and mine has um, a clear page on the front too a clear acetate oh it's actually turned over to the back I've got one on the front and one on the back just to protect it because it lasts me the whole year then that way so yeah so this is my working copy um so if you don't already have an annual catalog and you would like one let me know i'd love to send one to you i can only send them to australia so if you're overseas actually if you are overseas and you um, need to find a demonstrator, please let me know because I, I've got demonstrator friends from all over the world. So let me know because I can hook you up with um, a demonstrator near you. So please let me know if you're looking for a demonstrator and you're not in Australia. All right, so we also have our beautiful August to December mini catalog. We're going to be playing with some new products from this today, which is super exciting. I think last well last week we did Box of Sunshine. The week before that we did a Christmas card. Today we're going to be doing an autumn themed project. So and it's super easy and quick. Um, you'll love it. In fact, this live will probably go really short today for the first time like ever. Because <laughs> I always talk so much they go long. <laughs> Um, and then we've got our little beginner brochure as well. So if you are just new to stamping um, or paper crafting and you're not quite sure where to start, you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, it can be overwhelming because there's a lot of product there to get your head around, then certainly um, let me know that you would like a beginner brochure um, and I can send you one of those. And this is the best place to start when you're new. But of course, I would be happy to send you all three if you would like all three. So just let me know. Alrighty, let's get crafting. So let me move all of this out of the way. And, 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 and back to the box of sunshine. I forgot to mention it's only $37. So super cheap. Um, the only thing additional, it even comes with ink. So it's got everything in there. The only thing you will need is a block. Um, I'm just trying to find one 
the right size I've still got my stamp on it from last night um, so you'll need a block a clear block so if you don't already have a stamp block you can purchase them from the annual catalog as well this one is the recommended size the D size because it fits all of the different size stamps on there from this kit and I think I just ordered one last night I think it's $14 for the block and then you can use that with all of your stamps because all of the stamps are removable they're a photopolymer stamp so they just stick on and see they don't come off and then you just take them off there you store them back in the sheets that they came in so these are the the little sheets that they come in so there's two sheets of plastic there they I just store them in there and then when you're ready to put a new one on your block you just take it off the sheet and then just stick it on your block and you're ready to go so I didn't stick good idea to stick it straight though <laughs> so that's the only additional thing you'll need everything else is in there there's even glue dots I think I mentioned that okay so yeah so grab the paper pumpkins they're only available while stocks last so we're not sure how long that will be it depends on how many people buy them and how quickly um, so make sure you get your hands on one if you'd like one or two or three and use them like I did to give to gift uh, give as gifts to other people and share that sunshine and the box itself can also be decorated there's additional items in there to decorate the box and then you can pack the box full of yellow and orange beautiful things and um, spread that sunshine and send that on to somebody else okay oopsie there we go all right so I'm going to um, cover up my camera and I'll tip, tip the camera down onto my desktop. Let me slow down and take a breath. <laughs> my mouth is going faster than my brain right now. Let me get the camera ready down onto the desktop and we can get crafting. Okay, now I'm going to cover up the camera with my special little washi tape cover and I'll tip the camera down. So just bear with me. Give me a moment while I do that. It might be a little bit clunky and noisy for a moment so you can chat amongst yourselves I'll just flip those cameras okay I'll get this all organized for you all adjusting my clamps adjusting my stand and then lights and we should be ready okay there we go now how did we go today I never get it right the first time <laughs> so I'll just wait for my iPad to catch up it does have a little bit of a lag so I need to always wait for it to catch up so I can see where I'm at and I just got everything plugged in well not everything I've got my phone plugged in so I'm trying to keep that cable out of the way okay we'll move that over so that is my just popping down my blog there that is where you will find my um, online store through my blog there we go so you'll find my online store via my blog and you'll also find some inspiration and some other information there um, now last week I, I posted about a oh, and I, I meant to tell you that when I had the camera um, uh, on on me and but I can tell you that now Oh, hi, Sharon. How are you going? Great to see you. Um, yes, so I have on offer at the moment a an autumn fall, autumn slash fall, autumn here in Australia, fall if you're overseas, um, in America, mega tutorial bundle. Now, this mega tutorial bundle is huge. So I've collaborated with um, the demonstrator, the other demonstrators in my um, training group that I belong to. That's Kylie Batucci's demonstrator training and uh, 82 of us put together some tutorials for you all. So this mega tutorial bundle has 82 
autumn themed tutorials in it and each tutorial is about five pages so this bundle is enormous oh hi Tina great to see you so it is enormous there's 82 so there's two ways you can get it the first way is you can order with me in my online store and use my host code and for orders over $50 you will automatically get um, the bundle now also at the moment I have a special as well for August and September that um, you will get for orders over $50 you will get the tutorial bundle you'll also get a packet of pearl basic jewels and then you'll also get entered into the draw to win either um, a bundle which I have forgotten the name of hang on let me grab my catalog <laughs> First prize, uh, first prize in the draw is the, oh, I forget the name already. Where is it? Where is it? This one here. This one, the Birds and Branches Bundle. That is first, first prize in the draw. And the second prize in the draw for the runner-up will be back here we'll go back a page is the greenery embossing folders okay so these are the um, little mini ones that go through the mini machine but you can also use them in the large die cut and emboss machine so they're the two prizes I'm aiming for Maui and I'm getting really close and so um, I'm running a special promotion for August and September to get as many points as I can so that I can get as close and hopefully get there to Maui for 2021 so that's an incentive trip that um, Stampin' Up! has for their demonstrators so any demonstrators can go for that um, but I am closer than I have ever been so I am just asking for everybody's help um, so if there's anything been on your wish list get your orders in if you've been thinking about joining join with me <laughs> everything helps every little bit helps so um yes so there's the mega bundle the autumn mega bundle 82 tutorials there's the pearls there for if you order over 50 dollars and use the host code you have to use the host code and then all orders for august and september go into the draw for those awesome prizes so there you go so ah uh, thank you so much lucia oh i hope so i hope so it's very exciting <laughs> okay so what we're going to be using today all oh, these lights are a little bit close they are glaring off everything all right so what we're going to be using today is the gilded autumn suite so this is a beautiful beautiful suite and in fact the card that I made for um, the tutorial, mine is one of the 82 tutorials. Oh, I didn't tell you the second way you can get the tutorial. So the first way is by placing a $50 order or more than 50 or more. The second way is if um, you're a demonstrator and of course you order yourself, um, you can purchase the tutorial from me outright for $35. So there is more information on my blog Okay, so you can go to my blog or you can send me a message if you're interested um, and I can send you a PayPal invoice and then once that PayPal invoice is um, paid, then I can send you the PDF tutorials. So it's broken up into four bundles because there's 82 tutorials and the files will be way too big to email them otherwise. So there's four, tutor uh, four bundles which make up the 82 tutorials and they're beautiful. The projects are absolutely beautiful. So this is the suite that I used for mine in the tutorial bundle. And so we're gonna be playing with that today, but we're making a different card because the card I've made for the tutorial bundle is exclusive just for that bundle. So I can't even show you that card, but we're doing something else today and something super quick and easy. So let me tell you what is in this gorgeous bundle. So in this bundle, you have the beautiful designer series paper, which I have right here beside me. Um, you have the stamps and punch pack. You can get them um, together or separately. But of course, when you purchase them together, you get 10% off. 
okay so always a great thing with um, the bundles is to get both products so that you get that discount because you'll get one and then down the track you'll kick yourself for not getting the coordinating product and you wish you had of. Ask me how I know. <laughs> and so it's best just to get them both together at the same time. Then we've got gorgeous brush metallic um, cardstock, beautiful little acorn trinkets, which I've got right here. These are so adorable. How cute are they? And they're actually really heavy. Like they're solid. They're really, really cute. And then we've got the gorgeous um, basket weave and metallic um, ribbon combo, which we're going to be using today too. So over the page, it shows you an up, an up close picture of the stamp set, which we'll be using today. So I'll show you that um, closely. Gives you the item code there for the bundle and shows you the punch pack with the three beautiful um, autumn um, punches. So we've got like a, an oak leaf, um, a maple leaf, and an acorn. And they coordinate with the um, stamps as well. All right, so let's get those products out and I will show you. So here is our beautiful stamp set, our beautiful autumn stamp set. Just get the inks out now too while I'm doing that. We've got our punches. These are a good size punch too. When I saw them in the catalogue, I thought they'd be those really little tiny ones, but they're actually, look how big they are in my hand. Like my hands are quite small, but still, like they're a good size punch. So hopefully you can see the detail on those. It's a bit hard with the lights and the camera and everything, but um, yeah, they're really awesome. Now the stamps on here, um, they are, let me just see, I think they are shown at 100% actually. Let me see. Yes, they are. I've got a few extra little bits in there too. So these are all the stamps here. Now it's a two-step um, stamp set, which means you've got the outline of the stamped images. So you've got the outlines here. And then you've got the solid colour as well. So you stamp the outline in one colour or you can do it in the same colour and then you stamp the colour inside those as well or you can use your own um, choice of colour medium to um, colour those uh, images in. It's up to you. And then there's beautiful sentiments down here. So we've got have a beautiful day, hey there, thank you, my heart is grateful for you and life is better with you. So they are really beautiful. Um, Tina said that happened with me too. I bought the nativity set and kicked myself that I didn't get the bundle. Yep. Too much fussy cutting. Definitely. <laughs> yes. Oh, Hey Glenda. Great to see you. Great to see you. Yeah. Definitely worth getting those bundles first up. I have done it many a time and I think even, yes, my order that I put in yesterday, I ordered a stamp set, whereas previous order I previously I just ordered the punch it was the border punch the flower border punch which I'm looking forward to see on my shelf um, oh it's hiding behind another one and I didn't get the stamp set at first because I thought no no I just want the punch well guess what I had to order the stamp set didn't I so I missed out on my 10% <laughs> hi Rose no worries we're about to get playing so all good Rose all right so that's that here are the gorgeous ribbons. I love these two ribbons. So they come together in a combo pack and they're just so pretty. This one is mint macaron and this one is copper. And I just love this basket weave. It's really pretty. So we're going to be using those today. And then we've got the gorgeous paper. Now, of course, I've opened mine and used it so this is the gilded autumn specialty designer series paper do you know every time i go to write so this is spelled g-i-l-d-e-d -E and i don't know if in australia we spell it differently because every time i want to go and write it i write g-u-i-l-d-e-d -E and then i have to correct myself so i'm not sure if it's i'm not sure if i'm incorrect in my spelling or if this is just spelt with the american spelling so my spelling could be wrong. I'm not the best speller. 
Oh, let me show you these beautiful papers. I've got little bits and pieces here that I've chopped up. So this is the one we're going to be using today, actually. And this has got this beautiful floral, uh, not floral, leaf image on one side. And then on this other side, it's got the beautiful um, mint macaron with the gold foiling throughout. So Guild is a group. Guild is highlights. Ah, so it's two different things, Tina Marie. Okay, because yes, my mum used to belong to the Embroiderers Guild, and I always thought that was G-U-I-L-D. But Guild, as in Metallic Guild, is G-I-L-D. Aha, uh -huh, that's why I'm getting confused. Oh, well, good. Thank you for that. Little um, English whiz you are. <laughs> Uh, all right, so these all come in a 12 by 12 sheet and you get two packs or uh, sorry two not two packs two sheets of each one <gasps> Look at this one. How gorgeous is this? This has got um, gold and copper on there And I really don't think that the camera Picks it up, you know as beautiful as it is So this is the the reverse side of this one. I've already got them turned over. So I'll just show you how cool is this though? That has got, I think it's crumb cake and um, early espresso. It's really awesome. This one I love too, which I've already chopped into, as you can see. This is the pine cone one. I used this on the, um, the tree card that I made the other week on my Facebook Live. Do you remember the tree? Were you watching on the when I made the tree one? This is the one that I used for that. Oh, hi, Megan. Great to see you. And this is the reverse side. How cute are those acorns? And these punches, they actually will cut out, or punch out, I should say, the designs on this designer series paper too. They're the right size for that. And this I love. So just a um, sneak peek. This paper here is the paper that we used for the um, project for the mega tutorial bundle. Oh, yes, I just mentioned that, Amber, actually. Thank you. The punches can be used with some of the paper designs too. Yep, I just showed that. This is one of them. And um, I think they coordinate with some of the other ones as well. Oh, yeah, the one that I showed before, this one. So you can punch them out with the punches. All right, so, yes, love this one. And... How gorgeous is this? So this is um, the same print as the paper that we're using today, but instead of being in the colours, it's actually in the metallic and it's got a very vanilla um, base to it. So that's really beautiful. And then we have this. I love this. How pretty is this one? Absolutely love it. So this is copper um, and it's on a mint macaron background. How beautiful is that? And then there's this one lovely and then this one which is cute pumpkins now I know that we don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in Australia but this can still make a beautiful background even though it's pumpkins I mean I like eating pumpkin don't you <laughs> so but it's gorgeous it would make a beautiful background paper and then on the other side of that is this cool speckle which would be awesome for um just, it's got that gorgeous distressed look, so that'll be awesome for, um, you know, if you're doing distressing or just, yeah, for lots of different things, actually. So isn't that beautiful? All right, so that's all the papers. Now we've got the copper foil. Um, oh, sorry, not just copper foil, metallic foil, brushed metallic cardstock. Let's, let me get it right. Yeah, Hound's Tooth always reminds me of David Jones. Yes, me too, Tina Marie. Um, when I showed this a few weeks ago, that's actually what I said. But I couldn't remember that it was called Hound's Tooth. I was calling it something. I think I called it Sabre Tooth. <laughs> but yes, Hound's Tooth. So the, um, the metallic. So this is a brushed metallic. It's a little bit different to our other metallic. The other metallic cardstock that we have. Yes, yeah, Sabre Tooth. <laughs> Um, the other metallic that we have is like a flat metallic. This one's got a, like a, bl a brushed finish on it and you're probably seeing reflections from my face. Hello. <laughs> so it comes in copper, gold and 
and and and was it copper gold and silver or was it copper and gold i was thinking it was three. Oh yeah hang on here it is copper gold and it's not silver i think it's like a champagne so copper gold and champagne and you get two sheets of each in this pack and it's really beautiful yeah that's more of a sort of champagne-y color it's not silver isn't that beautiful but you probably can't even really tell properly on camera and under the lights and everything. But in real life, it's beautiful. So that would be also fantastic for Christmas cards. Because, of course, we're all starting our Christmas cards already, aren't we? Aren't we? <laughs> Who has started their Christmas cards? Let me know in the comments. Alrighty. So, and I already showed our little acorns. They're super cute. all right oh your poor wish list <laughs> your ever-growing wish list tina marie <laughs> all righty so i've already got the stamps mounted up oh you've made three already three christmas cards awesome athena and lucia has started hers awesome good job megan you haven't started yet oh okay you have to get started soon and Tina Marie has done lots of Christmas cards. Yes, I've seen photos of hers. She's been um, going great guns at her Christmas cards. Now, I have to say, Megan, I've actually only made a couple as well myself. So um, don't feel too bad because <laughs> I'm a bit behind the eight ball too. Well, I don't feel behind the eight ball yet, actually, because we're only in August. I like to start really getting underway with that by September. Um, but... Yeah, so I think we're traveling okay. We've done a couple, so I think we're traveling okay with that. Alrighty, so I've got my stamps already mounted up. Let me just put them to the side. And let me show you the project that we're making today. Alrighty, oh, I've still got it in my little baggie. Let me take it out of my little baggie. There we go. So this is the project that I have created for us to make today. Um, super easy, super cute. Oh, Chitska's done a couple of Christmas cards. Awesome, Chitska. And Robin has not done any yet. And she, yep, you need to get a move on with it, Robin. Yep. In your words. <laughs> yes, definitely. We all need to start getting onto those Christmas cards, don't we? Because you know what? Christmas is going to be here before we know it. This year has just gone so fast. So, so much happening, I think. That's probably why. All right, so this is the beautiful card that we're making today using that gorgeous um, designer series paper. And I'm only using um, one particular design of designer series paper, which is this one, but I'm using both sides. So that's a good thing about Stampin' Up! designer series paper is that it coordinates. And that's how it's designed so that it will one pack of papers will all coordinate with um, the rest in the pack. So there we go. So let me bring out my little kit uh, oh Megan said sorry I lied I had a Christmas in July swap that I did oh there you go but that doesn't count as it was a swap I have a few stamp sets to use snow ones of course as that is what it is like at Christmas time in Queensland haha -ha. <laughs> oh yes we love snowy snowy Queensland <laughs> uh, it's funny isn't it um I love, I really love the um, snow themed Christmas cards and things. But of course, we don't have snow here in Australia either. And so I kind of, I do make a few, I guess, but I kind of steer away from them because I kind of think people think, oh, it's not like that here in Australia at Christmas time. But I still really love them. So I'm with you, Megan. Definitely make those snowy Christmas cards. You go for it, girl. <laughs> But yes, the um, cards that you made for the swap, I'd say they do count, Megan. So good job. You've already made a few for your swap. So awesome. Okay, so um, I've got the little pieces already prepped and cut and everything for us today. So it'll be super easy to put this together. Let me move my card over so that I don't... And you know what? <gasps> Look at this. Ba -ba. I've even done the inside today. Woohoo! So there you go. 
I don't usually do my insides on my lives. I usually do them later, but I've actually already done it. Now we are going to be using um, a couple of different, well actually one um, additional die set. So I'm using the painted label dies. These are gorgeous. We have had quite a bit of use out of these ones. And we're going to be using the swirly swirly one from that. And we're going to be using one of the label dies from that one as well. So this is a beautiful, beautiful die set and it does coordinate with one of our stamp sets as co of course, as you can see with the leaves and the flower outlines. Then you've got these beautiful labels and even this border, look at this border. How cute is that border? That's actually the border I think, um, oh no, it's a different one. I was thinking that was the border that Amber used on my, birth my beautiful birthday card that she made, but no, it's different, it's a different one. So we're using those. And we're using the new stamp and cut and emboss machine today. Woohoo! And we're also going to use some champagne rhinestone basic jewels. I was trying to incorporate the little acorns, the little metallic acorns, but they were just a bit too big and chunky for this card, and I couldn't work out how to um, attach them to what I to the components I already had on the card, etc. So I thought, oh, you know what? I'm just going to use some champagne rhinestones. And they look great and they coordinate with the colors in this suite so really beautiful um, now what I didn't mention too is all of the products from this suite can be purchased individually or you can purchase the entire suite as a bundle um, and there is a code in the catalog for that let me just bring it back out and I'll show you I forgot to mention that if you love, love everything from this suite and you want the entire suite you can just use one code and that's over here on page 45 of the, uh, the oh, I keep on going to call it the holiday catalogue because that's what we used to call it, the mini catalogue, the August to December mini, mini catalogue. Um, there's one code over here, it's 155123 and you can get the entire suite of products. So that's everything. Okay, otherwise you can get them individually as I already explained. Or the bundle, remember the bundle, with the stamp set and the punches. You know, it's been years since I've had um, autumn leaf punches. So I was so excited when I saw that punch bundle. I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to get that one. Alrighty, so I am going to set aside my inside piece. And I'm going to set aside my ribbon. So I think what we might do is we might start with our stamping first because the other components are really quick and easy. So we need that one and that one. Well, actually, let's do the inside too. We'll do the inside stamping as well. Okay, so the first things first, things first let's stamp our sentiment. So I'm using two colours today. I've got Early Espresso and Cajun Craze, so super easy. Yes, Megan, they are. Those acorns are super heavy, I agree. Oh, no, we want um, early espresso. Alrighty. So I'm going to, first of all, stamp, move those two aside. And I'm going to use today my, oh, and I think I've picked up the wrong one. I have. Hang on a sec. Let me grab my other mat. I have about three different stamp and pierce mats so I'm going to use my stamp and pierce mat today because uh, we're using photopolymer stamps and I just love the fact that using the stamp and pierce mat and having that bit of cushioning underneath when you're stamping with the photopolymer stamps it gives you a much nicer um, finished image and especially for sentiments I find so that's what we're um, we're going to do so I'm using Early Espresso ink and um, I've just, I'm just inking that up and I'm just going to stamp that down in the middle. Now I will give you the dimensions for all of these pieces. There we go, beautiful. See, now with that mat underneath, that stamped out beautifully first time and we're going to die cut that. So we're going to set that aside to die cut when we do the die cutting of our crumb cake. All right, so let me tell you the sizes of the pieces before I go any further, because otherwise I'm going to forget to tell you. So we have our card base, which is Cajun Craze. 
and it measures 21 centimeters by 14.85 and you score and fold that at 10 and a half okay so that's just half of an a4 sheet okay so that's really easy we've then got our insert piece so this is for inside your card and we're going to do some stamping on that one as well so this is um, 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters then we have our little pieces of designer series paper now you'll notice that one is slightly bigger than the other but we're not layering them together like that we're actually going to layer them together at an angle like that so they're both the same paper but just we've got the reverse size so you need two pieces the larger piece is uh, 10.8 centimeters by 8.2 centimeters and the smaller piece which is the one with the leaves that we're going to use is uh, 7.6 centimeters by 10.2 centimeters okay and then for the sentiment um, I think I just used a scrap I don't think I wrote that one down mm -mm -mm. oh yes I did six centimeters by ten centimeters and that'll leave you plenty of space to get that um, die cut there okay so ten by six and then this one for our swirly swirlies this one was where's my I'm trying to see my um i don't think i wrote that one down i think i missed that one this one was just a scrap as well so this is just over this is 8.7 by 10 8.7 by 10 or thereabouts just one that will fit your um swirly die on see i could have gone smaller it's just yeah just a scrap of crumb cake just to fit that die onto okay so that's all the um components oh the ribbons so the mint macaron um, basket weave ribbon that is 10 centimeters and we're going to snip the ends and banner them in a moment and then this piece of copper is 10.2 so it's just a little bit longer than the mint macaron okay so there are all the measurements and now where were we up to let's put that back sorry I should have done that at the beginning I normally do that at the beginning but I was getting sidetracked with my stamping all right, so we've got that one. So that's ready to die cut with those two when we get to that. Um, let's quickly stamp our insert as well. Oh, actually, we'll put away the early espresso because the rest of the stamping we're going to do now is with the Cajun craze. I love this color. Um, you know, I never used to use this color very much, but I'm really loving this color at the moment. All right, so firstly, I'm going to stamp um, my heart is grateful for you. And I'm going to stamp that as my, let me turn that up the right way. That's my sentiment for the inside. So I'll just, I like to stamp mine just up higher than halfway because then I can write dear whoever and then I've got my greeting and then I've got room to write underneath. And then we'll do our little leaves. So I'm going to do my little acorn first. And the inside ones, they're not going to be colored or anything. They're just, they're just going to be stamped in the Cajun. And you can really stamp these however you like. I just, I'm just sort of winging it. And then we've got our little oak leaf. And oh, I didn't do that one at such a good angle up this end, but that's okay. There we go. Yeah, it just gives a little bit of dressing up to the inside. Oh yes, it's very vanilla. Sorry, I forgot to mention that one. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Yes, it's very vanilla. So the base of um, this designer series paper all of the designer series paper in this pack is actually vanilla. So, yep, so there we go. We've got our inside ready to go. Now, actually, I'll take that out while I stamp the outside. So the outside is also going to be stamped with the um, Cajun Craze, and I'm using those same leaf stamps again. 
and I'm basically just stamping randomly all of those stamps so you can just stamp them stamp some coming off some coming on I just like to keep twisting my stamp around to get um, them going in different angles Now some of these will be covered up, but that's okay. Not all of them will be. And if some of them don't stamp perfectly the first time as well, don't stress. So doing this um, tone on tone or color on color is um, really great. And it gives just like a bit of a almost like a watercolour look in the background. There we go. And we'll do our oak leaf as well. So let's put a little oak leaf up there. Down there. Oh, I just put my finger in it. <laughs> Good thing I always have wipes handy just in case because I might need one in a minute. I think I didn't, I didn't get too much on me just yet. But there's still time. I still could. Mm, that's actually. Oh, yeah, let's go one more here. There we go. That should do. I think so. You just stamp them randomly um, wherever you like. I think I need to burnish the um, fold of that card though because you can see it keeps on wanting to pop up. So I'll just burnish that with my bone folder. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, it's still popping up. What's happening with you, card? That'll be all right. When we get all the layers on, hopefully it'll help to sit it down. Okay, so then we've got our two little layers. So let's just see. We'll see how I've got my stamping there. Yeah, so I'm going to put that one at an angle like that. So I think I need one more stamp over here. So I might use that oak leaf. Need one just coming in there from the edge. There we go. So then when I lay that one down, is that my bigger piece? Yes. So when I lay that one down, we've got something coming out from, yeah. So that's kind of the idea is just when you lay down that first piece that you can see the design coming out from around um, the edge there. And I'll just fill in up here a little bit too. There we go. There's a bit of a blank space there. If you see any little blank spaces, you can just fill them in with your stamps. So that's a good idea just to lay your designer series paper down. And I think I've got all the blank spaces filled up pretty much. Yeah. I mean, obviously there is some blank space, but um, you don't want sort of any holes in your design. So there we go. Good. All of our stamping is done. So I'll give all of those a clean a little bit later on. Um, yeah, so um, Tina's saying that she does like the effect of stamping the same colour of the paper. Yeah, so doing tone on tone is really great for um, backgrounds. It just, it lifts the cardstock so that it's not just plain cardstock. I mean, some cards call for just a plain background, but some like this like there's a lot of detail in that designer series paper but there's not a lot of additional um, embellishments so i'm not using any image stamps so in terms of the actual um, focus part of the, the design so that's where you can you know bring those stamps into the background instead so yes all right so we are ready to go with that so we might stick these two pieces down and then we can go on with our die cutting. So I'll just actually, you know what? I'll do the die cutting first and then we'll put it all together. That's probably the better way to go. You can do it in any order that you like, but just for flow. Oh, yes, that's right. I also, when I finish die cutting my label, I have to do the early espresso with the door, but around the edges. All right. So, actually I need to move that because I'm going to bring my machine in. Here is my beautiful new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Isn't it gorgeous? 
and you'll see that my plates are already very well used. <laughs> I've got my little washi tapes up here to hold my dies in place. Because um, we will have available to us um, from the 1st of September the magnetic platform as well. So I'm really looking forward to getting that. Um, but currently we don't have the magnetic platform available to us. We just have the ordinary um, platforms that came with the machine. And so um, I use a little bit of washi tape just to hold everything in place. So I'm going to use this label here for the sentiment. And I'll also take out my swirly circles. All right, so I'll just line that up. I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape to hold that in place. A little bit on this side and that side. Okay. I'll see if I can fit my swirly on there at the same time. If I move that in there a bit, perhaps I can. Yep, great. That'll save time if we can do all of that together. All right, so you'll notice that with um, my thank you label, or the label I'm using for my thank you, I'm running it in that way because it has straight edges. So whenever you have a straight edge die, you should never put it in straight like that always put it at a bit of an angle or like with this one I can put it in the opposite direction because it's got that curved edge it's just that if you put it in as a straight like that what will happen is the straight edge of the die here catches on the roller and it for and it creates a bit of a speed bump as you go through um, and it can actually damage your die but it can also damage your rollers over time too so always good just to put it in at a bit of an angle um, and it feeds through much better. That's mainly just for your straight edge dies that you need to worry about that, okay? So we'll pop our number three plate on top, our clear plate, make sure I've got my sandwich all lined up, and here we go. There we go. Beautiful, good, good, good. How beautiful is this new machine? I'm so excited by my new stamp and cut and emboss machine. And you can see I've already used my plates really, really well. In fact, last night I ordered um, a spare, a spare um, set of plates because I thought these ones are getting so much use already. Down the track, I'm going to need to replace them with new ones. So. I thought, well, I'm going to grab some now and just keep them stored away, ready for when I need them. Okay. All right, so let's bring these pieces back in. We'll just take those dies back out. So, yes, so the clear plates, the number three plates, they are available for purchase now if you need additional plates. Um, the rest of the um, spare plates, if you need spare plates, they'll be available from the 1st of September. But everything you need to get started with your die cutting machine um, comes with the machine. So you don't actually need to um, purchase any additional products for it um, to get started, which is awesome. I'm just going to poke out these extra little bits in the die here. clean out that die so I don't forget I don't want to put it away and then realize later that I forgot to poke out some bits because that will then that could then affect the die cutting of my next project out you come there we go good that's all clean okay so there's our swirly so we'll get rid of all of these extra little bits you might even find a use for these you know these could make these could make leaves or something. I don't know if they were cut in another color, perhaps. But I don't have a use for them right now, so I'm just going to bin them. Well, actually, recycle them. Put them in my recycle bin. Okay, so we have all of those pieces, and now with my sentiment label, I'm going to dauber the edges to give them a little bit of distressing. I love distressing my edges. I do it on a lot of my projects. I think it's a thing. I think it's a Mandy thing. 
Mandy Daubering. I just love um, distressing techniques and I just think it gives a little bit of something to the label as well because otherwise it's quite stark with the, um, the very vanilla on all of the, the colour that's going on in the card. So yeah, so it just adds a little bit of something to the label there. All right, great. And with the sponge daubers, if you're wondering where the sponge daubers come from, so um, you can get them from my online store. They come in a pack of five. Um, I like to have a different color for each of my ink pads so that I'm not cross-contaminating colors and mixing the colors in my ink pad. So I do, I have a separate one. I just, um, I have a Dymo labeler that I print the little labels for and I just print it in the smallest, I think it's the smallest font that I use. And then I attach it to my, I stick it onto my dauber, but then I do wrap um, a piece of sticky tape all the way around as well because the labels tend to want to peel off the plastic because it's a very shiny sort of smooth plastic. Um, yeah, so that's just a little tip for you. And then I have each one of them labeled for the colors. And then over time, like after a lot, a lot of use, they do start to break down a little bit because especially if you're doing that, like I've just done along the edge because the edge of the cardstock is actually tearing up the top of the dauber. Um, but I, I might change these maybe once a year or so per color. Um, so they last a really long time. So there's just another little tip for you. All right, so let's put this all together. Let me get my stamp and seal and my dimensionals. So I've got my mini dimensionals here. I'm going to use those ones today. Okay, ribbon aside, let's start with our layers here. So this is my, be sure that you're putting the correct one down first. So we want the larger layer down first. So that's this one. So we'll just put a little bit of tape on the back there. And we're basically just working out where the center is of the card and just putting that down at an angle. So just diagonally across there like that. Make sure that your corners aren't going off the edge of the card. And then this one, we're going to be using the leafy side. So this time we'll put down some stamp and seal onto the mint macaron side. Oops. And unstick your fingers. Oh, that's so sticky. <laughs> And then this time we're going to go, so that one went to the left, diagonally to the left. This one's going to go diagonally to the right. And just stick. So that's as easy as that is. And then the swirly circle piece, or the swirly circle label, again is just going to be going straight down. So we'll just use a bit of stamp and seal on there. Just in the middle, I'm using my grid paper to keep my card straight or to line it up straight so I can see where I'm placing all my elements down on my card. It's about in the middle. I think with this design, because you've got different angles going, I mean the cardstock going in different angles, you can kind of get away with it not being completely straight. So if you happen to muck up a little bit, don't be too worried if it's not exactly straight because the angles kind of hide it. All right, so I'm using some mini glue dots to adhere my um, ribbons. Now, we need to banner the ends of this first. So let me just grab my sharp scissors, my paper snips, which are also available in the annual catalog. These are a great little pair of scissors. Now, I'll show you a tip, okay? So a lot of the time, people, when they're snipping into their ribbon, they'll go snip, snip like that, okay? So they'll do diagonal sort of corners to get that V. But this is a quick and easy idea. If you fold your ribbon in half and then just snip like that, there you go. You get your... Excuse my really dry hands. I'm guessing everybody else is the same at the moment too with all the hand sanitizer and the hand washing. It's just not much I can do about it. 
I do moisturize frequently, but it still doesn't really help too much. Oh, that one I didn't do straight. I mustn't have had that folded properly. So you gotta make sure that you do have your fold, you do have your ribbon folded exactly in half when you do this. Otherwise you end up with the angle a bit off there. That's better. Okay, see, there you go. Yep, oh good, I'm glad you like that tip, Tina. Yeah, lots of little tips today. I like giving people little tips to make it easier for them. All right, let's just get rid of this fuzzy bit. Okay, and then this little piece, I've already done the ends. So I'll just show you this little piece of copper. So I've just um, done a diagonal end, a diagonal angle on this end and on the other end as well. So sort of going in opposite angles. So this one's going uh, right to left and this one's going the opposite, if that makes sense. Yeah, you can. I think you can see that on camera. Okay, so we're going to use some mini glue dots and the mini glue dots I'm going to have towards the center of the ribbon. I'm gonna put three down, but it's towards the center of the ribbon so that the label will actually hide them if they look a little bit bumpy. Sometimes I might get away with it with this one because of the, um, it's a basket weave ribbon, but some of the ribbons that are smooth with the glue dots, you can actually see the, um, the texture through the ribbon. So then it's a good idea to sort of hide those glue dots underneath other elements. So I'm just going to put that across. Now this time I'm going to use my grid paper as well to try and line up that ribbon. Yep, that's about right. Okay. Yeah, you can't actually see the glue dots through this ribbon because it's um, got that basket weave. So it wouldn't have really mattered where I popped them. Uh, and this one now because this is a really fine ribbon what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm going to fold each glue dot in half before I use it and I'm actually picking it up with my um, take your pick tool and I'm going to pop it down on the ribbon and then I'll do the same with the other ones so Double it over, just because it's so fine. Oops, this ribbon. It's very pretty, the, gold, the um, copper metallic ribbon. I love copper. Copper's just beautiful. It's, I think it's my most favorite metallic color. All right, and then we'll pop that down over the top of the mint macaron in the middle there. There we go. Yep. And if you find that your ends are a little bit long, I mean, we do want them a little bit longer than the mint macaron. But if you find you've gone a little bit too long, you can always just snip them off a bit. But that's okay. They're not hanging out this side of the card, so that's all good. Okay. And then with our sentiment label, now we're going to be putting it over the top of that ribbon. And we kind of want to um, put the dimensionals top and bottom so that when we put it down over that ribbon it's going to actually be attaching to the cardstock not to the ribbon because otherwise if it attached the um, dimensionals don't adhere so well to the ribbon we want it attaching really tightly onto the cardstock so I'll show you what I mean. Uh, Megan says we have had westerly winds for a week as well everything is super dry yeah it's been so crazy windy down here um, I think it must be everywhere on maybe on the east coast at the moment, Megan, because you're in Queensland, aren't you? So, um, are you on the east coast? Because we're kind of on the east. Co well, actually, I'm I'm west. I'm inner Sydney. Well, western Sydney, I should say, not inner Sydney, western Sydney. But we still have had the winds. It's been absolutely crazy. The other day, I um greeted one of my team members outside and I thought we were both going to get blown away and the um, the lid of the or the top part of the letterbox next door flew up and went bang and then something else went bang down the road I'm like oh my goodness <laughs> it was crazy so yeah so just dimensional many dimensionals top and bottom 
and then we'll just remove those backings yeah it's been super crazy windy it's um that time of year though isn't it always towards the end of august and early september it's really windy i got married on um or my husband and i i should say got married on the 2nd of september and i remember on our wedding day it was so windy my veil just about blew off and um I was holding on to it and holding my dress down as I walked into the church from the car. All right, so then we're just gonna pop our sentiment label down. Now the trick is trying to line this up with my grid paper because of all the angles that are going on here. It's really hard. It sort of messes with your eyes a little bit and it's really hard to get um, your sentiment label straight. So I'm kind of looking at the um, grid paper to try and get that lined up and because you've got this swirl as well and the swirl is sort of like a messy swirl like a bird's nest almost that nothing is kind of straight except for the and then you're trying to line up this straight edge so it's um it's a, like an optical illusion which is pretty cool but um nine kilometers northwest of brisbane city ah oh, okay yep yeah cool I've got um, cousins up there, Megan, and my sister is up there too, but she's on the um, Gold Coast. But my cousins are north of Brisbane. Are they northwest? North. Yes, they must be northwest because they're just inland. They're not on the coast. So, yeah. Oh, thanks, Sharon. All right, so then we're going to add our bling. Now, I've got a packet here already open, so let's... And don't forget our insert, which I've, we've already stamped. So let's just add our bling now. So I'm going to pop a large champagne rhinestone up the top here. And then I'm going to pop some of these little teeny tiny ones. I'm going to pop one down here. And then I'm going to pop one here on my sentiment label. There we go. And I think we are done. Oh, no, we're not done. We've got to do the insert. Always forget my inserts. All right, so we've already got that stamped. So let's just add a little bit of stamp and seal and we'll pop that inside. So when you are doing your inserts, um, it is a great idea to leave plenty of room for um, writing, you know, your message. Um, but also too, so being mindful of ooh, where you're placing your stamp and any of your um, bits and pieces that you are dressing up your insert with because you need to allow room to write your, ins your message in there, of course, too. Now, if you wanted to um, perhaps instead of using this, the um, leaf stamps like I've done here, you could stamp your greeting on your, your insert piece and then you might like to use a piece of the designer series paper so I had some off cuts had some off cuts of designer series paper so you might like to use a strip of designer series paper along the bottom there or something like that to dress up instead of using the stamp so you could most certainly do that um well that's one of the other pieces but that one even would be beautiful look because that matches with the I can't use it now because I've got my stamps there, but that would have been beautiful because it's the same color as the Cajun craze. So that would have been beautiful as a strip along the bottom there too. But yeah, whenever you're doing any, any embellishing inside, just be sure to leave plenty of room to write your, your greeting in there. And a good thing too is it's always good to keep the inserts as flat as possible, not raised up because um, you need to be able to close your card as well. So if you're doing any dimensions, do all your dimensions on the front and leave your inserts um, fairly flat so that you've um, yeah so that your card will close so there we go there is our beautiful project so that was pretty quick and easy um, so there you go I hope you really liked that one still not sure that that is straight that sentiment label but it is so hard to tell with all those angles going on or maybe that one's not straight maybe they're both not straight but anyway <laughs> I think they're really beautiful um, and I love those colors aren't they just gorgeous just those rich earthy beautiful colors with that pop of mint macaron beautiful metallics going on in there we've got the copper and the gold really pretty 
there we go so remember if you would like any of these products jump over to my blog go to mandy's papercraftcreations.blogspot.com up on the top left hand side you'll see my shop button just click on that shop button and it'll take you straight through to my online store remember to use my host code here um, and as i said earlier in my um video that i have got some specials um, on at the moment which i'm going to tell you about when i flip the camera up so let me just cover up the camera and i'm going to flip back up to um, so that i can see you all or you can see me i can't see you but you'll see me <laughs> and i'll tell you again about my special that i have running so just let me get this ready for you Okay, we are nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. I'll just tighten all these clamps up. Flip my camera. There we go. Okay. Oh, by the way, that's what I meant to show you all. Can you see? Wait, let me go this way. Can you see behind me if I lift my camera up? Can you see my stand? Can you see my um, card stand up there? How gorgeous is that? So that's one of the stands from the uh, mini catalogue and it fits beautifully up on my shelf and it's a much better way of displaying my cards because I always like to have a display in my craft room of my cards or cards that I've received from people. And so let me find it in the catalogue for you. And I'll, when we go back to face to face, I'll be able to use it definitely in my classes and my um, face to face events, which will be great. Let me just find it for you. Oh, okay. So page 41, 41, where are we? 41. There we go. Page 41 card display. There it is there. And they're quite easy to put together. Um, wasn't difficult at all. And they're really sturdy and they come with the um, library clips as well. So you can clip your cards on there. And you just have to be careful where you clip them because you don't want to damage your cards. So some I've got in um the clear acetate or the clear um cellophane bags up there so i've clipped it onto the bag other ones i've been careful how i've clipped it just so that i didn't damage the card because i don't want to get any dings in any of my cards or anything but i really love it i love being able to display my cards up there like that so yeah i'll keep going that way but it's that way yeah so there we go okay so my special first of all let me show you my card again and i'll um, get my little my little snap okay so um, for August and September I've got a special promotion running because I'm going for Maui and so I need your help so get those orders in and for all orders you'll go in for August and September you'll go into the draw to win um, I keep forgetting the name of it I need to have it written down <laughs> There's two prizes. So the first prize is a stamp and die bundle. And I'm looking it up again because I keep forgetting the name of it. Birds and bird and birds and branches bundle. I really need to write that down. <laughs> birds and branches bundle is first prize. So you go in the draw to win that. Second prize is the greenery embossing folders. So they're two of our new mini embossing folders. They come together in a pack for our mini um, stamp and cut and emboss machine, but you can also use them in the large machine, um, which I showed you today. We used that today in the class, in the, in the class, in the, um, the live. So that was great. Um, so you're going to draw the draw for those. Any orders over $50 will receive my autumn, fall, mega tutorial bundle containing 82 tutorials from demonstrators from all around the world that I have collaborated with um, that uh, one mine is one of them and then the other 81 uh, are demonstrators from around the world and you can um, get that for free with orders over $50 plus a packet of pearl basic jewels now, if you're, if you're a demonstrator yourself, but you're still very interested in getting that mega tutorial bundle, jump over to my blog. There is a tutorial button at the top of my blog on the right-hand side. Wait, this way. 
<laughs> if you click on that it'll give you all the information about that all you need to do is email me let me know that you'd like it i send you a paypal invoice you pay on that paypal invoice and then i will email you those pdfs for those 82 tutorials um, some of which are using well actually a lot of them are using these products and um, the other autumn fall products from the mini catalog so and there's some beautiful beautiful projects so many great ideas there um, so yes so let me know if you would like to purchase that if you would like to purchase that outright is it is $35 um, so let me know if you would like to sorry I just had a missed call there um, feel free to pop your orders in and help me reach my goals I would be so appreciative of that sorry for that I just had a phone call um, come in I had to cancel that one I'll ring them back in a moment but thank you all for um, joining me today it's been fun and it's been lovely to share this time with you and I really appreciate all of your support um, even just by coming and being with me each week is supporting me and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, if I can help you with anything, let me know. If you need catalogs, let me know and I can get them out to you. Um, oh, thank you everyone. Thank you so much. Um, yes, Tina's brother is in the go on the Gold Coast too. That's right, yes. Oh, thanks Jenny. Thanks, Glenda and Megan. Thank you. Thanks, Athena. Oh, you've got the DSP, Athena, but you haven't played with it yet. Well, hopefully I've given you some more ideas. And also to remember, I've got that mega tutorial bundle available as well if you're interested in purchasing that. Um, so that uses a lot of those autumn products. Well, actually, they're yeah, it's all the autumn products from the um, mini catalog. Oh, thanks, Chitska. Uh, you're very welcome, Megan. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so I hope you all have a wonderful week and I thank you again for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all again next week, next Monday at four o'clock or five past four, between four and five past four, I'm usually here. <laughs> I think you all kind of know that now too. <laughs> I try and be here right at four o'clock, but every week something happens. So I'm like three past four, four past four, five past four. Oh my goodness, quick, I've got to get on this live. <laughs> but thank you all for waiting for me. Have a great week, everyone, and happy crafting. See you next week. Bye.